gemstones have some very strange properties. There have been moments when I feel a hum of energy coming from them. It has been many days. I've been too busy to count the hours and I've been underground with no passage of sun and moon. All the while I've been looking into the gems that I'm finding. The magic spark, the glimmer of light, the essence of chaos. And with it, an understanding. I was right. I've tested some gems. There is a charge of energy to be stored and used. I've mixed gems and dust with iron and gold. The results are astounding. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of A Druid's Tale down here in the depths of the Horizon 3 um, single player map. Well, I've been messing around with this today. I've uh, spent a few days just mining. Um, let's just go with this. I've just spent a few days mining out an area. I've uh, developed from where we previously left off and did all this. I found an abandoned mine shaft. Maybe we'll do something with that later. Just going around and about and sorting things out, right? Just doing a little bit of this. Uh, but I'm starting to gather so much materials in all of this lot, just by normal means, just with the thermal expansion stuff, that I wanted to go back on a few bits and pieces. Um, I've had a lot to deal with and a lot to think about over the last few days, um, and I've not put out any episodes because, well, Christmas and things and stuff. Um, so... I've just been playing around with this today just to try and catch up and get a video out for you because I'm a little bit behind schedule. I've done this plenty of times before. This um, this uh, sag slag stuff is okay. Uh, and it makes it by... I always have a pulverizing some iron. Um, use sand to uh, smelt the iron in a pulverizer which gives a chance of the slag being made and that goes down. So I've found something new out compared to my previous systems. Right? Previously... I would have this um, clay, this slag being moved into somewhere to make the clay automatically and pump out the clay. Right? Done it before, previous season of uh, Nemgo Evolved, that was on there. Um, but this is slightly different. This is slightly different. I found something. I was trying to make it so that it all fits snugly in a wall. Right? That's the, that's the first stage to think about, right? I was trying to get it all to fit snugly into the wall. So it was smooth on the edge there, and then it would go round this side, and this this wall would also be full. I've hidden the um, aqueous accumulator in there with a steam dynamo in there, and that's got a little um, feed in behind there to pull out of there and into the steam dynamo to make power for the whole system. Got a little energy cell and an en energetic infuser that I brought downstairs so that I can recharge my thermal expansion stuff. Yeah, simple enough. Uh, well, that power also goes along here, but I wanted it to be flat against the wall. I wanted it to be flush, like over this side is fairly flush. I wanted this to be fairly flush as well. So, we've got an igneous extruder making cobblestone. It doesn't require any power, but I'm giving it power. And I don't know how power works in this to make it better. It, it says it uses power. I didn't think it used any power previously, but it seems to be using power now, which is strange. Maybe they've got out of the uh, infinite cobble generating into, uh, what was it, a magmatic, um, a magma crucible? Is it a magma crucible? Something like that. Uh, <laughs> something like that. You make the cobble, you put it in the magma crucible, the magma crucible turns the cobble into lava, the lava then comes back into like um, a something and makes power. So it makes infinite power from an infinite cobble source, right? But they look like they've changed that now because this is using power up as we go. Okay, so it's gaining power, losing power as quickly as that. Making cobble. The cobble's going up, down, and to the right there. Up to the pulverizer, it gets turned into sand, and gravel is a byproduct. The byproduct goes over this side and just sits there. I'm going to have to have this voiding out somehow, but I don't know how Yabba voids out. I'm sure there's an upgrade, simple enough upgrade to void out. The sand comes into this barrel. This barrel has a hopper upgrade. So the hopper upgrade just basically puts it into there. So I didn't need any pipes because I've got my power cable going around behind here. And so I was no side that I could put things on. So this has got a, um, a hopper upgrade, which means it just drops stuff into the below. Which then puts stuff into the sand. The sand gets put into the first slot there. right? Now the interesting bit here, normally I'd have a loop where I'd take the completed iron ingots out of this slot and send them up and over via piping to this slot over here 
and then it would pulverise it back down into um, dust, and then the dust would then get put into this slot and then make a byproduct of slag and get sucked back around again. But I found this option. This option here. Normally you don't have... The, you have all these different options over here, but there's now a multiple option, look. Yeah? At the very end. So you've got all the different colours for all the different outputs like they always used to have, but then this came in. The input and output goes in the same way. So I've got an input output on the same side. And this one then has input output on the same side. Which means they basically just touch each other and just keep transferring items backwards and forwards. Which is epic. Right? So that does that. And so this is just now with a bit of power. So it does need a bit of power. So I'm going to need to put coal in it. This will just make um slag fill that up it will make cobble fill that up it'll make sand fill that up it'll make gravel fill that up and so on now i know that there is a way to make the stone in an igneous extruder where you just have a lava source and you keep pumping water in and i've got an infinite water supply down here in the aquifer accumulator but i didn't want to put uh, another one here so i decided to put a furnace there and the furnace then receives the cobblestone, cooks the cobblestone, and puts the cobble down there in the stone format so that I can repair the mine and stuff. I wanted that for the looks. I could have put a second one of these next door, but I wanted that for the looks of it. Right? I didn't want two of these next to each other. So I've done it like that. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, Before you put any comments down below. And uh, yeah, so now I've made the furnace. And now I can make more furnaces and I can do some furnace array up here where I put um, items into barrels or something and it pumps down into the furnaces or pulverizes furnaces and outputs. Pulverize furnace and output, that's going to be a something. This, however, I've decided I'm going to change this around a little bit right now because, well, stuff. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put that on top to hide away that little bit inside there because we don't need it anymore, right? And I'm going to have this so that we've got, uh, I think it's like this. Let's have a look. Let's turn all these off. Yeah. So we're going to have, because it's being touched on the back there and on the s corner there. Yeah. It's been touched in the corner there. We should be able to make that an input. Let's see if that worked. Uh, I can't quite see it. Uh, let's try checking the other side. Is that an input? Yeah. So we've got input on the opposite side there. Yeah. Input there. And we're going to have an output on the back. Okay, so we've now got the input output on the back there. Let's get rid of this. So we can have a little look this way. Yeah, output there, look. So now it'll take in power and supply out power. So this battery will now supply power when the N uh, dynamo can't keep up. Right, And it's also going to supply power out down into the energetic infuser, which can then recharge all of my tools as and when and however quickly I need it to when I've been mining for a little while. Right? It can come and recharge that. Uh, in previous episodes, we made this supercharged Paxel. Yeah? Supercharged Paxel. And that supercharged Paxel um, was told to me by Sean D. And apparently, to be able to set it up, you need to have a Shift and C, which turns it onto the 3x3 mode. You can see that we've got a slightly different change here. But... That 3x3 mode only works if you've got uh, Chaos Essence. And as I don't have Chaos Essence, I don't have this 3x3 mode. So that's why it's not working. Okay? So Shift C, it turns it on. But I need some Chaos first. So we're going to be back on Silent Gems today, doing some of that Chaos work. I'm wondering if I have everything. There's that. Uh, there's those. Made three of those. Assigns random grades to tools, tool crafting materials, gives stat bonuses. Okay, that's cool. And then I've made a couple of those, so I turn one of those into this, which is a burner chaos gem. So I've now got one passive, one burner, and one material upgrade. Now, I was told by Sean in the comments that four to five of these would work nicely. So let's see how many I can make. Hmm need a lot more of those enriched okay so I'm, I'm cooking these things at the minute i'm doing as much of this as i can as fast as i can for today's episode but i just want to test it out first i want to know how much i actually need like these i get eight there that's good and then i can make how many of those i can make two more of those like that 
which means that I can make two more of those like that. Awesome. Uh, and we go on like that and we just keep making those for a little while. I've got plenty of obsidian being made up. I put this little setup temporarily. Uh, the aqueous accumulator, I don't want it there forever. But this is temporarily putting the obsidian into there and using up that lava that I picked up earlier. I can always grab some more lava. These tanks have a, 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 a click. You right click it to make it an, uh, a tank or an auto tank. See that doesn't refill automatically. As you right click it, it turns it into an auto refill. Which is good. So that will get through all of that lava. Uh, which is still seven, uh, 47 buckets of lava. Uh, I might actually not need any more. I think I'll just let that run out. And then leave that for now. Yeah. Um, because I've got lots of obsidian. And I don't know how much of these I'm actually going to need. Now I know that I'm going to need some. That's for sure. I'm going to need some passive creation pylons. And I'm wondering how to put them up around here. Because... They're fairly cool effects, I believe. So let's see about putting one there. That's a fairly cool effect. Oh, I got shot by it. What did, what happened there? I got shot by it. Oh, look at that. It's giving me a little bar upgrade. So it's slowly but surely recharging my... I'm guessing that's my chaos charm. Uh, my chaos charge. All right, so put one there as well. Put one there as well. And I will make another one. And it's firing at me while I'm around here. That's cool. So they, they, oh, they were in range as well. So when I come into this area, it's just going to fire chaos into me. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. I like that setup. Uh, and it doesn't get in the way or anything like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, cool. Um, the other thing then, can I just do one more just to finish that off? Because it's going to be really annoying if I don't. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough in there. Uh, can I make one more of these? Um, one more. I need four more of those. Oh, redstone. Really? Okay, give me some more. Give me some more redstone. Must have it evened, mustn't it? We must we must even it out. Would help if I clicked on the right things. Those things there. I need two more of those. And then I can make one more of those. And then I can make one more of those. Yes, awesome. Okay, and then that one would go just there. Okay, so it's already filled my chaos bar by the looks of it. Because, well, I have all of my chaos bar full. Uh, and it's not showing up anymore, but I guess that's the reason for it. Uh, over this side then, I think I'm going to have my gemstones over here, and I'll probably have some way of having my gemstones come in automatically over here. This thing, which just looks at them. Oh, it's also receiving power from those. Okay. I was thinking that maybe I needed something a little bit faster, so I'll put a burner up here, and I guess I put something material-wise in there, to make that burn so let's check out I've got a stack of coal let's put a stack of coal in it like a so and that burns and now delivers power to that and does this power up oh yeah it's powering up quite quickly quickly now so it does need a power charge that's what I understand from that so these are firing at it power charging it this is um, ability for me to just top it up to power charge it to get the power in there so that I can have a look at gems. Now I'm supposed to look at these things. So let's have a look. I've got two onyx here. Two regular they currently are. They currently state regular. Uh, base harvest speed 8. Harvest level 2. Right. So that's what we've currently got. Let's put one in there. So 8 to 70% attack speed. 7 melee damage. Right. It will process this and then boom. It becomes a grade C, uh, which is still a regular tier, but the base has gone up. So now, can I see these side by side? Can I see these side by side? Yes. Um, 8 to 8.48, harvest level 2. Yeah, attack speed's gone up 70% to 74%. Melee damage 7 to 7.42. Okay, so can I go through these again? Uh, it doesn't look like it does it again. So I can do these again this way then. Can I? And just basically check out what they do. This looks like it's fully powered now. Because it doesn't seem to be losing power. A B grade. So there's a B and a C. I think B is actually better than C. Yeah, by a bit. So harvest speed 8.48, 8.64. So it goes down. C, B, and so on. Now, I don't know how this exactly works. But I do know that they will not stack until I get rid of them again. So I'm just going to put those two in there out of the way. What have I got plenty of? Let's see. Um, sapphires. Let's take the sapphires. And we want to have them in 
multiples of nine. Oh, multiples of nine. Uh, for breaking them down again. So that one can go into there. Boom. And these multiples of nine, right? We're going to put them all into there. So I know for a fact that you can make these nine back into a block and break them down again to put them back into here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these just process through for a little bit and see what grades we get. There's four options here for the different grades. We'll try those out. I would like to... Oh, it's got a cool texture as well. Just looking at it through there. That's pretty cool. Uh, C, E, C. Yeah, so we've got different grades here for different things. Uh, different cool stuff. I'm going to make an axe. So I might make a, a sapphire axe and just let this process. So um, I want to see about putting some kind of... Uh, I, I guess a hopper would work into a storage container of some kind. Uh, I've got the iron on me. A hopper into a storage container would work. Hopefully. Let's see. Um, and we'll just have a chest, shall we? We'll just see what that looks like. See if it works. Um, if that works, then I might be able to do some pipe working to it. Okay, so that's taking them out of there. Yeah, so that's processing, putting them into there. It's not taking the one to be processed out and then it's going to be putting them in here. And then this will stack them all together in here. But it's a slow process that I'll leave it for at the minute. So why don't we work on something else? There's a few other little things that we can work on. Um, there was a gem of flight or a rune of flight or something like that that I've seen lurking around that has been mentioned in the comments. Um, I believe it was mentioned early on by Sean. who said there's early game flight in here and I didn't know what it was believe there's some kind of rune. Here we go. Chaos runes. So there's chaos runes of capacity. Recharge. Uh, generates when not in use. Generates chaos when not in use. Okay. Flight. There we go. Better than wings. So that is what we need. Can we make it early game? Uh, we can make this enriched chaos, of course, because that's that. Yeah. So we'll make four of those. And then the shiny plume is four normal chaos essence with a plume and some gold. And that shiny plume is feathers around a shard. Okay, so I'm going to need lots of feathers. I need lots of feathers for flight. How does that figure? Okay, so, so I've got three plumes I need to make. Each one needs one plume there, so each one is eight. So I'm going to need 34 feathers. And how many feathers do you think I've got? Absolutely none right now, because I don't have a chicken farm. So while this is going on, I've got to try and figure out how to get a chicken farm so that I can get all the feathers. I know I've got some feathers, but I don't know how I can make more feathers. There may be a way um, that I can make feathers. Uh, let's just see how many I've got right now. Two feathers. Okay, I've got two feathers and I need like 34. So what's the recipe for feathers? Recipe for feathers. P fluffy, puffy. Fluffy puff. So let's see how much fluffy puff we've generated from our farm over the course of. Uh, we've got a good couple of stacks there. Nice. Fluffy puff to the rescue. Let's get a load of this stuff sorted and have a quick sleep while we're here. And mega day. So, flight. We need to make three of those. Got it. Sorted. All three of those sorted. Flight is that. I need to make then four of those. One, two, three, four. Awesome. And then we put them all together. And what have you got? A Chaos Rune of Flight. Da 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 da. Max level one. Slots used 10. Chaos cost 80. Don't know what that is. But it's cool. Right? And I know that this doesn't just, it doesn't just like make you fly. It doesn't just make you fly straight out. I've got to do other things to make that work. Right? And the first thing I need to do is make one of these, like, um, it's like a battery, basically. And each battery's got a slightly different amount, by the looks. Uh, no, it's got slots. It's got 20 slots, these have. 20 slots, and this charges one slot. <gasps> oh, epic. Okay. So I could make some recharge runes and stuff as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Because I want to re recharge when I'm not using it would be great. So, can I put more in? Recharge. Let's make those. Let's make four more of those. I'm really using up resources fast, aren't I? Um, recharge. Let's make one of those. 
Yeah. And then recharge. Oh, I need to make four of those. Four more of those. Oh, I've only got two. Why have I only got two? Uh, redstone. Let's get some more redstone. Okay. This is going to work. This is going to work. I want to set it up so it automatically recharges when I'm out and about and not using it. Uh, one, two. That's still only two. Oh, because I've run out of those stuff. Did I have any left? Oh, I didn't set any more running either because I thought I'd done. Let's get another couple of stacks of those. Uh, well, let's put one stack away. Oh, man. I was hoping that I'd get all that sorted out a little bit easier. I didn't realise this was going to take so long to sort out. Is that finished now? That's finished now. Okay, so this is finished. What did I end up? A. I ended up with two A grades. Okay, so let's take the C grade. Okay. Let's take one, one C grade out of that and one B grade. Okay. And we'll put those together. So these are C grade and these are okay. But obviously the A grade is the one that I want. Yeah. The A grade is better. 8.96 versus 8.4 and 8.35. So what we do then is we put eight in a place together like that and then one of those together make a block then take the block and break it down into nine regular ones and put the nine regular ones back in there so that they can rework itself again and hopefully e d c b a hopefully we get some of the ss or sss ones and see if we can get the best we can so i'll just keep recycling these in until i've got the best grade possible that's what i'm going to do there uh, and in the meantime I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. So recharge Was four of those. I've got two more of those to get and then the recharge rune is that Boom recharge. Okay, so now we've got flight and recharge um, It uses one slot that uses one slot. There's no cost max level four Max level four does that mean I could put four in and it would work? Okay. Well anyway, and then we're supposed to make one of these, which has slots in it and requires me to make uh, nine more of these enriched chaos. Et Are they all the same? Yeah, basically all the same, but they require me to make a block of something. So um, it doesn't really matter what color, does it? No, there's no there's no real difference in what color. So you can just put any like nine gems together, make a block, and it would be a cool crystal. I don't think it makes any difference what crystal. Super cheaty chaos gem. Okay, that must be something you can only cheat in. Yeah, you can't make it. Uh, okay, so any of these. I'll just need to make a load more of these. So I need a load more of that. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to go for garnet for no reason other than I happen to have some. And I'm going to get a chaos garnet. And then it should... Yes, it does. It starts receiving power straight away to charge up. From all these things will now charge my garnet with two million chaos as soon as it possibly can. I don't know exactly how <laughs> how rapidly it's going to fill up, but it's going to recharge up here, right? Uh, and I think I can put these runes into here. Yes. And can I put a second one in? Yes. Flight and recharge. Okay. So I get flight and recharge in there. Can I take any out? Can I open it up somehow and take it out? Oh, it's it's on. Oh, okay. So it's recharging itself now. Look, I've I've clicked it on and it's recharging itself. So let's turn it off. It's still recharging itself. Okay. So I'm in range of that right now. Let's go out of the way. Let's go out all the way down here a little bit. Ooh, I want to go down here. Let's go out of the way down here a little bit. Okay. So I'm not getting recharged by those blasts. I'm out of their range. But this is still recharging. Cool. And I can just uh, activate it and fly. Yes, I can fly. So I'm, fl <laughs> I'm flying, 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 flying. But of course, the recharge is going down faster than it's going up, I should think. So is it infinite flight? Probably not. So I can fly up here. I'm now flying up here. It's out of range. It's trying to get to me. Is it recharging? Uh, no, it's going down faster than it's recharging. That's okay, though. That's okay. Because I'm technically, I'm a flyer. I'm flying now. Does it stop me from needing to worry about fall damage? Let's go out here and find out. So, I come out up here, and I'll just go a little bit too high. If I, if I die over here, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I can just pick it back up again. And drop, and no damage. So, I can fly as high as I want. And if it runs out of power, 
If it, if it, I can have a good scout around now, can I? Uh, if it runs out of power, um, I will um, I will die, won't I? Let's see. Oh, fine. No damage whatsoever. Thank you all very much for watching today's episode of A Druid's Tale. I'm very glad that I have achieved flight and the 3x3 tools and stuff like that. I'm going to make myself an axe out of sapphire in the meantime, and I will see you in the next episode very soon. A goodbye.